When I was a child, I wanted to be a train driver, whizzing along, blowing my horn, watching the world go past. Now I'm all grown up, I am a train driver, and it's a fantastic job. Check out my top 10 things I love about train driving. But there's still a few things that I don't hate, but I do dislike about train driving. Hello, I'm Richard Evans, a mainline train driver based in the south of England. There's not really anything I hate about being a train driver, so here's a list of some of my less favourite parts of the job. Doesn't really make such a good title for a video though, does it? Top 10 things I don't really like. Not so catchy. Number 1. Shift work. Okay, so if you watch the top 10 things I love about shift work, you'll notice I mentioned it in that, and I do like shift work, but I'm not a morning person. Getting up at four, three, or even two in the morning, it just doesn't agree with me. But I don't think it agrees with anyone, to be fair. Two, loneliness. For some, it's an absolute blessing. And with kids at home, it's a bit of me time as well. But being on your own for hours and end in a cab can make you a bit lonely. It can be a bit boring, and it can lead to your mind wandering and lack of concentration as well. Three, repetitive working. Every day on the railway is normally different, but if you're doing short shuttle trips and you've got three, four, five or six of them, it can be pretty boring. Although, changing ends, walking to the other end of the train, you have got someone to talk to. So it's not all bad news. Four, signalers. I don't hate signalers at all. I don't even dislike signalers. But what I do hate is when you're traveling like 100 miles an hour and you get checked down. Two yellows, one yellow, red, and you stop. And the moment you stop, that signal goes ping. It goes to green with not sight nor sound of another train. I'm sure the signalman have got very good reasons for doing this, but nevertheless, it's very annoying. Five, passengers. Most of them are lovely. Some are not. For legal reasons, we shall leave this one right there. Six, political environment. Like it or not, the railway's been around for a long time, and so have the unions, and the railway environment can be very political sometimes. You've got staff that have been there maybe 40, 50 years, and some of them think that their way of doing things is the right way, and if you don't agree or follow their methods, it can get a bit messy sometimes. That being said, things are starting to change. Whether that's for the better or not is a bit controversial for here, but maybe not for the comments section. Seven, easy to make a mistake. You can go from trundling along without care in the world to missing a station or triggering an overspeed loop. It really is that easy. Want to know how easy it is? Then check out my How Hard Is It To Drive A Train video. 8. Home Late Passengers complain about being late all the time, and rightly so. But if the train's late, often through no fault of the driver, then the driver's home late too, I'm home late too, and in most cases, we don't get paid the overtime. Train's late again? I hear ya. 9. Fatalities It's not a nice thing to happen, and something I haven't personally dealt with but many of my colleagues have and I've heard their stories. Suicide is no joke at all and no amount of training can prepare you for how you're going to feel in something that is ultimately when, not if. 10. Job prospects As much as I love train driving, there's really not that much prospect when you're in the role. There's opportunities to go into management, instructing and training, but outside the railway industry, the skills you've learnt are not really transferable. And getting paid 50 plus K Normally, if you leave the industry, you're going to take a pay cut, so you are rather stuck. Thank you very much for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, and also consider subscribing to Dad Rail for more mainline, heritage, European, and model railway content. Got your own things you'd hate about being a train driver? Pop them in the comment section below, or contact me on my social media channels. Interested in becoming a train driver? You can click right here to check out my train driver vlog series. Or you can click here, in this corner here, to subscribe to Dad Brow. Or you can click here to check out the video of clever people at YouTube.